Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7 Super License S7, uh, which is the SF19 Super Formula slash Honda 2019... I don't know that that name, naming convention at all. Of course, it's around the very famous WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. It's going to be quite the episode because I tried and tried and tried and tried this. I want to say on controller. And it is the fastest car I think I have ever driven in any simulation racing game ever. Bar any of them. And I can't control the car. So the fact that I even got a bronze medal is is a worthy of achievement of its own right. So I am not looking forward to this one. I love Laguna Seca as a course. I love the corkscrew. I love the location. I love the layout. It's fast. It's intense. Yeah, not a whole lot of technical corners, but this car is just going to give you a run for the money. It's You got to get a 107, and the fastest I got was a 113, so good God, Lord help me almighty. Deep breaths, Matt. Deep breaths. <sighs> oh, God. Haven't even done anything yet. Oh, we're breaking back here? Okay, I guess I can break later. Again... I don't think you guys can quite tell the difference. Um, this game does a really good job of completely destroying your perception of, of driving. Because I did the GR Yaris on a gravel track. To which the very next vehicle was like a 4,000 pound Mustang with like 600 horsepower to the rear wheels and was a boat. So I went from lightweight oversteering mess to big boat who can't stop on Trial Mountain to a car I am scared to drive. Um. Because I'm braking way too early, because everything I've ever done, the fastest cars that I've really driven were... I mean, technically Formula One. But, like, GT3 cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can shave off, like, 13 seconds. Good lord. <sighs> oh, help. Help, help, help. Okay, so that feels like it was late enough. I am really not going to be able to commentate much because I need a focus. <laughs> uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> Don't hit... <laughs> Don't hit the bump beyond the rumble strip. I've done it a couple of times in a GT3 car. And the result has been similar. Maybe not as catastrophic. But similar. Yo, those... Those sausage curbs. Oh, mighty. And that is so close, too. You think you can overhand the tire by a long shot. Or at least that's what it was doing in the previous two races. Oh, this is the edge of the course. Eh, is it kind of like a discussion, though? Is it really the end of the edge of the course? Is it? And this is... Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And I can't even keep up the ghost, so I don't even know where I can break and where I can't. So this is exactly why I've gotten a brawn, so... Welcome to me trying to beat my personal best time, because this is going to be a really long, really, really, really long night. <sighs> I feel like I need to be on Adderall to be able to cope with this. There's no amount of focus in the world that can get me anywhere close to a decent time. Fourth gear was a mistake. 
but I'm not that far away. Don't do it again. Don't. Uh, that's not going to be good for my lap time. I'm not one to restart races in the middle of them, but uh, if I make even one tiny mistake, the consequences on this vehicle are pretty grave. I'm not going to talk about how you can feel the like how the steering wheel makes you feel the G forces. That's something else that I would be. Mm. I change my underpants to different colors. We'll put it that way. If I were to drive the scene in the real life, I just oh my god. Between the G forces and the amount of power that it's got, and how light it is, and how grippy the damn thing is. Scary, 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 scary combination. Because then it's like it feels like you can nearly do stuff like this flat out. You probably could. I'm not. Slash is curb. Okay. <laughs> and this is how you get a 113. need some water after this. I don't know how I'm going to get even a 109, nonetheless a 107. I guess the closest thing to an answer that I can provide is probably just a lot of practice, which you'll probably see most of it. Because my goal is to hopefully have this done by the end of the night. Whether that be in uh, two hours and two days, I don't know. But hopefully I should get some rest tonight because work is going to be looking for me at 7 in the morning tomorrow. Asking where did he go? Oh, he's just playing Gran Turismo because I couldn't get the stupid test. <laughs> You gotta get your priorities in check, man. I know. <laughs> uh, I kind of going on an earlier conversation in the previous couple of videos is I think you just need to try this for yourself because this is absolutely incredible. You are not going to know what I'm talking about until you even pick up a controller with this. Slate improvements! <sighs> Again, a silver medal in this instance would be an achievement in its own right. I don't think people talk about doing S7 enough because everybody's talking about, oh, S10 is so hard, S10 is so hard. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's difficult because it's Spa and a car that weighs nothing, that has all the world's horsepower, the rear wheels, wide as hell, and if you even go off the racing line slightly, you die. But through all the conversations, I don't think I've heard once anybody talk about how difficult S7 is. For reasons like that. <coughs> Again, commentary is going to be quite limited because I know nothing of this vehicle other than the fact that it will bite your ear off. So, help. I'm breaking here, I guess. <laughs> And here, it looks like the ghost didn't even bother. So I don't know how... 
I'm just trying out what it's like to go full throttle through a corner because then I can tell how much I should be braking versus how much I don't need to be. But I know this spot. A lot is the answer. But this spot. Yeah, you do need to lift off slightly. Oh, nice. Look at that. This is so weird because... <laughs> okay, cool. We're going backwards now. That's that's just what I needed to hear right now. <laughs> uh, taking a breather here. The sense of speed that you get from this vehicle is probably pretty realistic. When driving Formula One, like the 2021 game, the cars are technically faster than a super, super Formula. Actually, they should be. But that car feels manageable. And I think it's because it's trying to hit that, that mass audience, that mass appeal. Because if it were actually programmed to be realistic, nobody would play it. Because it'd be too challenging. This, however, since it is for a simulation based environment, it's terrifying. And kudos to Polyphony, you guys do a um, fantastic. Why am I breaking back here? Um. You guys do a fantastic job of, of showing what it's like to, to drive this car realistically. <coughs> so at one point, I will actually stop screaming. I don't know when. It doesn't seem like it's going to be anytime soon. But I'm hoping that my focus levels are going to increase. Because if you're like even like a tenth too slow on the braking, I think that's the problem is that if you're even a tenth too slow on braking on this car, you're just that much further along. Most other cars, you can have a, quite a bit of room for for negotiation, as I'll call it. But this car, much like every other Formula One car in Super Formula, you have to be dead on. And if you are not dead on, uh, you're not going to get the time that you want. And the problem is, too, is with these cars... You need to be pushing them, because if you're not pushing them to the limit, they will overheat. Because you're not going fast enough, because it needs the air volume to be going through the radiators at highest, uh, highest of speeds to cool the engine off. So if you're lollygagging and being concerned and being very cautious about everything conservative shall we say um yeah that's you're gonna have so many problems so I already know that we made some improvement 111 there we go <coughs> it's not good enough though because we need a 107. At the very least, we need a 109. So I'm going to do everything in my power to be as aggressive as I possibly can. 
Because these times are not going to come out of thin air. Probably third gear in that spot. That was alright, I think. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, with the last run, you could definitely tell how he's lollygagging up to the corkscrew. I can actually see the ghost. Which is an improvement. Oh! <sighs> Much better. Still a country mile to go on improvements. Again, even a tenth too slow. Whatever that was, it worked. So whatever I did, that, that first corner section is a good start. Not as good as that first time. I feel like my focus is diminishing already. It's just too fast. It's just too fast. Yeah, I need caffeine or something to be able to even get remotely close to focused enough for this. So comment down below for those who have somehow gotten a gold medal in S7, how many cups of coffee you had to drink. Because the answer is not enough, apparently. give it off. I've got four seconds to shave off, though. I want to scream. I want to scream. Because I am not good enough. Surprisingly, as I said that, that was probably one of the best runs of that I've done yet. Yeah, but then the AI just takes off. Again. Alright, I guess. Up to the corkscrew. Break as late as I possibly can. <sighs> First gear is probably too low, though. I don't even see him anymore. Okay. At least there is some... some improvement. That's all he needed to know. I am frightened that it's only by two tenths, so... Because I have, like, three seconds to make up yet.
So, again, it's going to be a long night if I'm only making two tenth improvements. Man, he's already gone. Okay, it's a little bit better. Good lord. I felt like I had to cut so much of the corkscrew off, though, to get there. The thing that I've noticed about my driving is whenever I fall behind, I have a tendency to cut the corner harder. Because I feel like that, I don't know. Because I might get an advantage by cutting it harder than they can. But man. Oh, frick. Yeah, but those sausage curbs are right there. So if I hit one of those, it sends the car flying, and then I lose so much time. <coughs> I feel like I need to adjust the latency on, on the ghost. Because I know you can adjust it in such a way that I don't know if it needs to be closer or farther away. If I were closer, then it means I have to be more on top of it, which is impossible. But farther away, then it just takes off and you can't see it. I'm going to be here a while, if you can tell. Okay, we're going to watch the demonstration because this is just 
too much. Oh, that's cool. Can you, like, go back and show me the rest of it? I wonder if they're taking me back there because that's where I was last at. <coughs> there we go. So we're breaking at the third marker, going down to the second gear. They're breaking at the second marker, going down to third. Okay. Lift off for that, up into the sixth gear, and then they're breaking at the... In between the third and the second, going down to fourth. Breaking... Lifting off at the second, in fifth, going up the hill, breaking at the third, going down to second, oversteer slightly, goes really wide, goes up to fifth, lifts off, breaks at the second, goes down a gear, back into the fifth gear, breaks at the third, goes down to second. Okay. So, going lower in the gears, probably a gear lower. And honestly, braking a little bit sooner. They are braking at the second marker, weren't they? Seemed to break really early on that one. I'm not sure what the case was for that. Yeah, second. Yes! Better. Nope. Too low of a gear. And they're just lifting off for that one. Okay. <clears throat> This is tough as nails, man. Tough as nails. That was probably the best exit I've ever had. And that was probably the worst. <laughs> yep. Okay. That makes sense. And then what do we figure? Okay. That felt good. And that was a l that was a lift, wasn't it? Oh, that's flat. And that's just down a gear. That's down to second. Okay. But yeah, I broke broke really late on, on that last part. I was breaking at marker two instead of marker three. So it's just a lot to remember. Because I'm having to untrain my brain from something that is objectively slower. Like, light years slower than this car. So the next time I get into the GT3 car, I'm going to remember, oh, I can just break it like... I don't know, marker two or whatever. Better. Eh, could be better. worse than we figured nope I keep on breaking for that that's that's just the lift off that's just the lift and this is also just kind of flat isn't it yeah that's just flat
They let me have that one. I don't know why. So technically a better record, but I now loosely know what they're doing. So I have I have a goal and I know how to improve on it. Before I was just floundering worse than I was in rallying, so. Oh, they screwed me up. They've got five markers there. Those jerks. I guess that works. Oh, nice. And then this one is just left, just left, just left. Okay. <laughs> that was so sketchy. Break, 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 break. On the power immediately. Flat. Flat. On the power immediately. Break. Break way too early. Ha! I'm only a second off. Oh. I'm only a second off. And I have the mistakes that I I just need a perfect run. <coughs> Actually, I don't even need a perfect run. I just need like a mediocre run. I mean, that was a mediocre run. Just a slightly better than mediocre run. <laughs> okay. So I broke at marker three, but if that that felt very early. Breaking the gear down. Immediately back in the power, use the curb. Fifth gear, lift. Perfect. That worked great. How did I get up in six gear? Oh, I think I, like, slapped it on the way back. I think that was my problem. Oh, I can coast. I forgot I can coast. That worked great. I'm normally pretty good at coasting. But yeah, apparently I thought in that spot there... Oh! <laughs> First time I've done that. Wow. <coughs> that outside just took it and just yanked it on in. Wow. Yeah, it was slow. I'm gonna down a third gear. I thought I was supposed to be in fourth through all that. Isn't this supposed to be fifth, technically? That's fourth. <laughs> okay. We will get this. I got a 108 out of nowhere. So I can get this. <laughs> Lift off. Back on. Again, I feel like I'm just... Loosely keeping up. Falling back on the power. Oh. Oh. 
I'll keep I'll keep doing it though. I should have lost my front spoiler off of that one. Hit the rumble strip directly. That was going to be like the accident at Rota Bear Cop. Ooh. Coast on that one. Oh, that was a bit wide. There it goes. Nope. <sighs> 109. Let's start that again. <coughs> I feel like they're, they were doing that in fourth, weren't they? I don't know. Third feels right. I just don't know how to hit it right. Damn sausage curd. Lift off. Ah. Okay, so there was something going on with turn four or five, something like that. Um, where I was getting out of the power too soon, and then it just kind of spins the tires, I guess, and then you lose a lot of your traction, I guess. It, it's kind of a weird sensation. I, I don't know quite how to describe it, but it's like you're putting it on the power too soon. No, that's a dead that's a dead time. Or you put it on the power way too soon. So you're just holding it through, but like you don't have the traction yet. So the AI coasts through it. It gets to a point where It's when you're turning. When you let off off the turning and you're going more straight that the power really, really comes on. Kind of like that. Oh, there we go. This is definitely a not... This is a record-breaking time for me. Yeah, this is feeling fantastic. <laughs> it's not going to be a gold, though, that's for sure. I was just trying to jinx myself into a gold. <laughs> that was a lot of work for two tenths, so God almighty. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there, though. Damn curb. These days I'm going to get there.
Ha! Nice. That worked. On way too early. Well, it's like the perfect time to be on early. Go! <laughs> ah, over that one too. Sure, why not? Got nothing to lose at this point. Apart from seconds. Oh. By another couple of tenths. I ran over two curbs there. I wonder if that's the two tenths that I'm looking for. <coughs> so yeah, the corkscrews feel so weird because like you're getting out of the power way, way too soon from what you expect. Like you're you're slamming on the power on the way down the corkscrew, like before you even hit the corner. Yeah. Apparently it's just what's fastest. I had to left twice there. Gonna lose quite a bit of time out of that one, too. I have a very hard time replicating. So that worked. That corner worked. This one is where it's hard to replicate because you're lifting off. Yeah. Because you lift off so early, but you're immediately back on the power going into the corner. I wish I had some higher level of explanation than what I'm just describing. <laughs> it's more just reactional at this point. There's there's no understanding of the grip of the tires. They're just they just stick. And if you do anything weird, they don't stick. So just don't do anything weird. Oh, that exit. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could provide more commentary than guttural grunts. Yeah, that last corner was garbage. That worked. But yeah, so far, I mean, my commentary is just not there because the focus that I'm trying to provide to get a semi-decent lap is more important than any commentary can provide at the moment. Probably lost a couple of tenths that I needed by going over the curb. Yeah, that's game over. Bah! Bah, I tell ya. At least I'm getting that down. The improvements that I'm making are completely instinctual at this point. I... It's just the repetitive process of muscle memory is all you can do with these cars. Because there's absolutely no way you can tell your body to think with this car. Because it is so freaking fast that everything you do has to be a reaction. Yeah, it's so weird how the setup one corner affects the next series of corners. The exit, excuse me, the entrance to the corkscrew felt weird. Which thus had an impact to its exit, which had an impact to how I attacked the next corner, which ultimately is why I went wide. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing, this car. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. Coast and then put the power back on. Okay. And this here. Bap! <laughs> ah, curb. Go dive in. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be spots on this course that you can cut a little bit more than they want you to. That you can make up your time. Because I'm trying to match. I'm not trying to beat. I am trying to match gold right now. If there's any way to beat it, it means that you have to go faster than the ghost. Which is really not happening right now. The fact that I'm in the 107 so is much, 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 much better than I was ever uh, uh, anticipating on getting tonight. Too early on the power. <laughs> yeah. Him those damn curbs too much. Power was on too early. Curb. Yeah. Not even... If I get a 107, I am going to be very impressed. Yeah. Not with that lap. Not with that lap, I'm not. Shake it out. Shake it all out. Nice and loose. This is all muscle memory at this point. <laughs> can't. Can't lift off multiple times. You can't speed on through there so fast that you have to lift off multiple times. You have to lift off at the precise moment. Not a tenth too soon, not a tenth too late. Otherwise, it screws the whole thing up. Yep, not there. That wasn't the right spot. I gotta stretch out my legs. My right foot is so... Excuse me, my right knee is so tensed up right now because I've been slamming my foot down. I'm trying to not commentate at the fact that I did so well against the ghost there. I have no idea what I did. But I got up to the fact that I was actually faster than the ghost by two tenths for a moment. Couldn't tell you how. But apparently I was. So we're breaking. Back on the power. I'm not angry. I just need to release stress. <laughs> I just need to... I'm getting close. I can almost taste it. it kind of tastes like blood. <laughs> no, Matt, that's from biting your tongue too hard. Boop. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. That within itself probably costs a couple of tents. Where am I going? <laughs> <coughs> oh man.
I don't want to give up now. I am not in the mood to give up. Because it is going to take me a really long time to remember my muscle memory that I've created tonight if I were to try this again at a different session. I'm getting that gold medal and it's this session or never. I am so much closer than I've ever thought I've been. So it's reminding me that I actually do have a minute about a driving ability. Just a minute amount, nothing spectacular. Wide. Yeah, but nowhere close enough. Top two curbs on the way over. Finally got that entrance to that corner right. Jesus. <sighs> Slightly better, but man, oh man, do I know that I have some improvements. I don't know how. No idea how that one session... How I got that first this part right. Oh. Busy screwing with my MFD. Oh, that's what the kid's calling it these days? <laughs> that's something caught in between my teeth and I can't help but focus on it while I'm trying to drive. Incredibly annoying, isn't it? No. Oh. Yep. There it goes. That's what I get for having chicken tonight. Lift. Yep, that's fine. So I worry about not being able to turn hard enough. Because I feel like I'm just going to spin the car. <laughs> kind of like that, but I mean, there's more turning radius that I can use at higher speeds. The thing is planted, so it probably can do it if I ask it to. <laughs> Curbs almighty. I'm going to be seeing this car on this track in my dreams with how much I've been doing this now. I can't even tell you what attempt it is anymore. All I can tell you is that that corner wasn't great and that was a curb, so that one I wasn't either. There we go.
Nice. Yeah, that one I went too early. So I put the power back on too early, which made me go wider. So, not too bad. I'm now starting to micro-analyze what I'm doing, which I actually appreciate because... The thought of practicing... At, at least with an instrument, I remember hearing the advice from my brother. Think about what you're thinking about. Because a lot of us, our minds will wander. We'll be thinking about our, our, you know, what we're going to eat this week, you know, what we're going to, you know, when we should be doing our taxes. Now, if you're doing your taxes in July, you kind of have some issues. Or whenever the hell this video gets released. I stayed on the track, but that's not an achievement. I don't actually have to lift there. I don't know why I went to third. It's an absolute disgrace. I can't deal with this lap. Try again. That wasn't a bad exit. That just could have been better. Did we figure out that you can be doing this flat? Yes, we can. Nice. That's something I know that the AI is not doing. Or at least the ghost, shall we call it. That was a bit rough, but it wasn't the front splitter, so that's fine. So that was better. Because when I got to the corkscrew, I was putting the power down as soon as you honestly needed to. Wasn't turning in fast enough, though. Flat, 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 flat. Nice. Coast, and then bring the power back down. Didn't quite hit the curb. That's fine, though. Oh, nice. That one always feels on edge. Power back on. Nice. So we're hitting the curb, and we're not going into there. This can be flat. Ah! Over the curb, but we're fine. Immediately back on the power. This could be good. Break, 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 break. Oh, went down to first gear. We broke way too early. Yep. There goes our time. Sayonara. <sighs> We're getting really freaking close. Oh, I saw that coming. Don't even bother. Flat. Nope. How was I able to do... The previous times I was able to do it flat, but I can't hit it this time. Hmm. Like I was saying earlier, it's probably got to be with the, egg, the entrance to turn two. Yeah, this is all right. Nope. Oh. 
This can be good. I try to avoid that curb, and I just get that, so... I don't know. Maybe I can just be hitting the curb. Because I could be cutting enough track where it mitigates the time loss. It's a pretty good exit. Can't be hitting freaking curbs, man. We'll get there. Can't be hitting the turbs. If Laguna Seca and Monza got rid of their sausage curbs, the racing would be so much better. Because I could actually hit my freaking time. Wasn't too bad. We're gonna have to deal with this garbage again. Nice. Yeah, the ghost is too far away though. I'm not even anywhere close to the time. Yep. Goodbye. 109, that was quick! That was quick, though! It must have been that entire second half of the track. That was different. But that was better. Hmm. That was better too. Oh, curb though. We're gonna see how much a curb bounce takes off of our time. Somehow we didn't hit that one. I hit that one, damn. Yeah, this. Ah! Oh, we are so close. We are so close. Those two curb bounces, if I took one of them off, I don't know how I'm not going to curb bounce off of any of them. The amount of times that I got... I didn't hit... What was it? Turn fives. I didn't hit turn fives, which was impressive. Corkscrew was clean, then it was like turn eight or something. I don't even know what the corner names are anymore. Don't hit that one. <sighs> Avoiding that through the lap. That was one of the best exits I've had in a while. It's 
close. But we didn't hit it, so it's fine. Too early on the power. Too wide. Lift off. Mm, too slow. Slight curb balance. Could have been worse. Could have been a whole hop. Nice. Got the power down. The AI looks closer than ever. Okay, super wide there gives us a better entrance. It's not going to be good enough, but it's going to be close. How close are we? Close enough. I felt the mistakes. I felt the freaking mistakes though on that one. Because they broke really late for this spot. So it went really wide and I had a hard time getting back on the power. This spot was awkward. It just, it looked clean. It didn't feel good. This spot too back here was also felt a little bit weird. This part here felt great. Yeah, look at that. Wow, I was right next to that curb. And then here, eh, I didn't hurt curb bounce, which is fine. And I got right at the right braking spot. And I, yeah. Look how much I cut there, but that there got a good entrance here, got me super wide here, was avoiding that curb entirely. This one felt, yeah, you could tell I had that little odd spot, and I broke early enough, but not too early that I was able to get back on the power. I never, honestly, never thought I was going to get that. Never did I think that was possible. I wasn't worried about S10. I'll get that eventually. I know I will. This sucked so bad. Because S10, at least, you felt like you were minutely in control of the car. This car was so light with so much power. It's it's not it's like not even a car. <sighs> but we did it. We did it. Finally. We'll put a tally somewhere how many attempts. It feels like it was in the 200s honestly, which is insane. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment what you guys got for, for a time here. And if you did happen to record it, please link your, your game player or whatever, because that was mental. Did not think I was going to get that one ever. So the fact we got there, I am beyond amazed. Relieved. I couldn't, I, I'm not impressed by my own driving ability. I'm not. I am more relieved that it's over because the amount of luck that went into that lap. I need to go take a stretch. My poor right leg. Ow. <laughs> so again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye.